Welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 15W31A. I believe that is right. Yes, it is. <laughs> 15W31A. This is the first snapshot of 2015 for Minecraft. And if you look where I'm walking around, we have got a dragon's head. And yeah, I've got a sword in my second hand slot. That's right, everything is different. And you can swap that about like that using a hotkey. We'll get to all that in a little bit of time. But uh, yeah, just want to show that at the beginning. And actually, I think we need that sword just to demonstrate something at the beginning of the video. So, we're going to go over some things. You can see here immediately it says when in main hand, plus 7 uh, attack damage. And then we're going to go over what these are, these new block types. So, this is some beetroot. And you can make some beetroot soup using this crafting recipe. Which is the same as the pocket edition recipe for beetroot. I have looked up on the wiki and apparently beetroot is already in on the pocket edition version of Minecraft. These are the beetroot seeds, you can grow the beetroot from that, and uh, if you put this into the crafting table you will get some rose red dye. So that is everything on beetroot. We've now got some new blocks which are the purple block, the purple pillar, purple stairs, and the purple slab. I just put this here to show the different angles, and also some end stone bricks, so they are some new blocks. And uh, yeah, we, I want to show off this uh, little dragon thing. Uh, when you press the button, you get his mouth opening and closing using some redstone, which is kind of cool, I think. And uh, I've accidentally destroyed that. Let's place that back. Um, so, we have got some things to show real quick. If you go down here, you'll notice Super Secret Settings has been removed from the menu. If we go to Skin Customization, you can now choose which hand you want to be your main one. So we can switch that over to the left hand and, uh, of course, back over to the right one. Um, if you go have a resource, if you have any resource packs, they are going to be red for now, and the reason why is when you try to enable them, it will say it's made for an older version of Minecraft and we no longer work correctly. So that is a little warning, but fortunately this uh, clear glass one is actually compatible because it only changes the glass texture of the game. So if you can see here, it has actually changed the texture. I want to quickly show you the maps by putting it into that hand. Um, it would work for the right hand if I had the right hand as my uh, alternate hand. But if you look there, you can see that you can see the map from a small perspective while doing some other stuff. So you could be building and wanting to look at a map or navigating and trying to kill some things on your way around. This is a definite big improvement for the game. Um, and of course you've got the big one there with both hands as well. Now I just want to show you something quick with the maps which is probably not intended. If you look very closely when I go to shoot this bow, if you look at the left side of the screen you'll see that my hand actually moves and uh, yeah. Yeah, that's a different kind of arrow. We'll get to that in just a moment. But if you watch when I pull back the bow as well, down there on the hotbar where the bow actually is, you can see an arrow up here and show you the status of you pulling it back. So <coughs> if I only wanted a uh, small shot, you can pull it back like that and fire instantly or get a nice long shot like that. But yeah, that's just a little thing that I noticed with the hand moving when you're holding a map while doing that. Um, yeah, just something that I picked up on. We've now got something called a spectral arrow. If I am to summon in a creeper, and then we can hit it with a spectral arrow, it's going to get a little border box kind of thing around it, and that's useful because when once you've hit it once, you can then see it from behind blocks, know exactly the location. Yes, it times out after a while though, so uh, be sure to be sure to kill your guy, and uh, that will not happen anymore. There is some more items that are worth noting. There's a chorus fruit, which when eaten in survival, if we're going to survival, and eat this, you will get randomly teleported. Um, yeah, just randomly teleported, it seems like. And I'm not sure what the popped chorus fruit does. I'll have to have some playing about with that, but that's all I can seem to find, because I can't seem to see what that fruit does um, at the moment. Um, we've also got some new arrows with some potion effects. So if you were to shoot a mob it would likely turn invisible if you were to shoot it with this and I, I want to mention something else about the arrow straight after but there you go it's turned invisible it applies the effect so that's how that is going to work and we can now kind of see that he's around this area <laughs> nah I'm, I'm gonna leave him let's leave the creeper be unless we can kill him there we go he's dead <laughs> so that, that's that's was quite simple um, I do want to say that if you've got an arrow in the offhand slot right there, it will prefer to use that arrow. But I've found that otherwise, if this arrow is here and this arrow is there, it's still going to use the spectral one because it's closer to the arrow in the hotbar. At least that's what I've found out. So 
if you want it to use a specific arrow, put it in the offhand slot and you can select which arrow you want to be used and uh, that is how that will work. Just quickly want to show you something to do with the potions now, if you drink a potion or have an effect on you, you can see in the top right there we have got a little meter and when that gets close to running out it will start to flash so uh, I'll skip forward the video a minute and you'll get to see that. Here we go, I've given it myself for 15 seconds, so you should start to see, there we go, it is starting to die at the top corner and start to flash when it gets close to running out, and then that is a good indication that your potion has run out, time to drink another one, and there we go, it's run out, so that is it. For this, at the moment, I am going to go into the end, show you the features that have been added in the end, because that's where a lot of the stuff is coming from, and there's a new mob as well that we'll get to when we are over there. It took some getting to, but I finally arrived at the end, I think the portal setup is a little bit glitched at the moment. So I want to say that this is always in a permanent location now, and the dragon seems to hang about by this, by my observations. Um, you can also see that these cannot be destroyed by snowballs anymore due to the uh, bars around it, and that may mean that you have to mine this first before you're able to attack it, unless you can shoot an arrow through the top. I'm not quite sure on that, actually. Um, but yeah, it's like, so you can't take them all out by just using the snowballs, which some people have managed to be able to do now. Um, and I believe if you kill the dragon, there should be a little portal to a dimension, so I'm going to quickly kill the dragon and I will look out for that. Just while I was killing the dragon, I noticed a death message, so a quick thing to know is to, uh, if I do slash kill, you can actually see the death message of your reason why you've died there, and if you hover over your name, you actually get presented with a UUID, so... That's just a little change that they have made. I will see you back over in the end. A few things worth noting about the dragon is that it does breathe fire um, at some point. I saw it, saw it breathe uh, purple f fire, but like I said, it tends to hang around about here. And there we go, we've got ourselves a dragon head. That would have been from when I killed him with commands, but now we are actually killing him because for some reason he managed to spawn back. Um, probably because of him being killed with commands and... Uh, I don't think it's designed to work that way, so I am legitimately going to kill this thing and then we're going to have a look at the other features in the end that are more exciting than what I've already covered in this uh, snapshot review, which I actually think I've killed the dragon already. One more hit and we will have done it. Let's do it on camera. Please. There we go. Okay, there we go. There is the dragon dying. We should see something appear around the edge of the map. If not, then I might not be able to show this feature. There it is. We can e now, this is a great time to show, that we can now end a pill in creative. This is a full review in depth of everything, and we can now end a pill in creative. So, we're currently in creative mode, and we can end a pill into this dimension, which is what you're meant to do. And, uh, I think we end a pill into it. Yep, we did. We ended up in the new place, which. There's some temples and things in here, we'll go let everything load in and I'll uh, find something interesting to show you. But first, this is called a chorus plant. This is the plant and then it has a flower at the end of it. Uh, and I believe you can plant those as well, I'm, I'm not too sure on that. But um, yeah, that is, that is that. I'm going to fly around see if I can find the thing that I'm looking for and I will bring you back in. Here we go, that didn't take too long to find, just a little bit of flying around and I'll be able to see this building and I'm now starting to drop some frames around here, down to 25 frames per second here. And I am recording this at 1080p by the way, because uh, I thought it would be a good idea to, so that should be good quality for you guys. Um, so yeah, this is a temple, uh, like, temple kind of thing, possibly, and we've now got these new things called end rods, if we look here, he's still in the biome of the end in the F3 screen, so... Uh, not much has changed in that regard. And there's actually the new mob that I want to show you, which is the Sculler. We can hit this guy, it can be moved by pistons. I can't really demonstrate all of that right now. I will show you that it can be moved by pistons. Let's spawn one in down the bottom here, and uh, go ahead and take a piston and a redstone block. If we place down the piston and power it, then you should see that indeed they can be pushed. So that might be a, a way to... Uh, be able to move these as kind of catapults or something for missiles because they do attack the player when you are in survival mode and I am incredibly lagging around this area now and uh, so I think we have covered everything that I want to cover so I am going to call this a review and that is going to be it for this Minecraft snapshot overview thing I hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that like button it always shows that you like these and uh, continued support on the channel and it's good to have snapshots back in 2015 so I'm looking forward to the next snapshot and reviewing every snapshot from now on, hopefully. Um, so yeah, you've got that to look forward to. 
So that's going to be it for me, this episode of Minecraft Snapshots. And, uh, it's not an episode, that's it for this video. So, as always, thanks for the support on anything on the channel. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you all next time. So, thanks for watching, and bye-bye.